Hello and welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate how to wire a 3V switch. Watch the video until the end to see how I do that. I will show everything on my demonstration wall here. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. There are several methods to wire a 3-way switch depending on how the wiring is done. In the simplest method, Power first goes into the first switch, then to the second switch and then to the light fixture. I will demonstrate the other methods in my next videos. This video is not about how the wires are actually pulled through the wall studs. This is only a demonstration of how the connections are done. For the purpose of this video, I will be using a Leviton Decora switch. This switch is rated for 15 amperes and uh, 125 volt. Leviton is marked here and there is a self grounding strip here. So in this particular switch, the two brass screws, one on this side and one on this side, they are for traveler wires. And the black screw on this side is for bringing in the power line in or connecting the load or the light fixture. This is the top side with the top marked here. This brass strip or golden strip is the self grounding strip. It's very important to note that there is no on or off marking on these switches. In case you want to use these traditional toggle type switches, there is no up or down side. You can install it like this or you can install it like this. In whatever way you install, both of the switches should be kept in the same direction. In this particular switch, we have one brass screw on this side for the traveler wire, one black screw here for the load or line wire. And on the other side, we have another brass screw, which is also for a traveler wire. In the simplest method of wiring a three-way light switch, power first comes into the first switch box using a 14-2 wire. This 14-2 wire has bare copper ground wire, white neutral and black hot wire. We will need a 14-3 wire from the first switch box to the second switch box. In this 14-3 wire, there is bare copper ground wire, black and red wires are traveler wires and the white is neutral wire. And from second switch box to the light box, we will again need a 14-2 wire. Here are my wires. The 14-2 wire brings in the power to the first switch box. A 14-3 wire goes from the first switch box to the second switch box. Another 14-2 wire goes from the second switch box to the light fixture. And from the light fixture, we have a black hot wire and white neutral wire. I'm using an insulated green wire for grounding the boxes. A green ground wire here, a green ground wire here, and a green ground wire in outlet box. For the purpose of this video, I will be using Wago 11 nut connectors. But of course, you can use wire nuts as well. So always make sure that there is no power here. I will use my client tools touchless voltage tester to make sure that there is no power. All good. So it is safe to proceed with the connections. So I will connect the ground wires first. I am using a small insulated green wire as a pigtail to connect the green screw. I will take a 5 pin Wago 11 nut connector and connect all the ground wires. Next, I will take care of the white neutral wires. I will use a 2 pin Wago 11 nut connector to connect these two neutral wires. Next, I will connect the two traveler wires. One of the traveler wires is connected to this brass screw on one side and the other one is connected to this brass screw on this side. I will keep the black wire on this side and red wire on the left side. Now, I will connect the black hot wire. This brings in power to the switch. This side is done. I will connect this switch now. Once again, I will use an insulated pigtail to make the ground connection. Another 5 pin Wago 11 nut connector to connect all ground wires. Ground wire from 14.3, ground wire from 14.2, ground wire from the switch box, and the green ground pigtail from the switch. As I did in the other switch, I will connect the black wire on right side and the red wire on the left side. The red wire on the left side. The black wire from the 14-2 is connected to the black screw on this side. 
white wires are not connected to the switch so i will use a two pin wago lever nut connector to join these two wires white wire from the 14 2 and the white wire from the 14 3 this white neutral wire goes direct to the light fixture next i will connect the light fixture the ground connection first the ground coming from the light fixture box the outlet box and the ground coming from the 14 2 wire connect the two whites together white wire coming from the light fixture and white wire coming from the second switch box next i will connect the black wires black wire from the second switch and black wire from the light fixture let's take a second look at what i have done this is the 42 wire coming from the power source it may be from the circuit breaker or from another switch or another outlet and this is the 14.3 traveler wire. The 14.3 traveler wire goes from the first switch box to the second switch box. Then the 14.2 wire goes from the second switch box to the light fixture. In the first switch box, all grounds are connected together. The black wire from the 14.2 is connected to the black terminal of the switch. The red and black traveler wires from the 14.3 are connected to the brass screws of the switch. One on this side and one on this side. The white neutral wires, one from the 14.2 and one from 14.3, they are connected together here. In this switch box, all grounds are connected. The two white wires, one from the 14.3 and one from 14.2, they are connected together. White neutrals are not connected to the switch in any way, nor neither on this side nor on this side. The black wire from the 14.2, which goes to the light fixture, is connected to the black screw here. This is the load wire. The black and red traveler wires from 14.3 are connected to the traveler brass screws black on right side and the red on this side i will now push all these wires inside the boxes because this is just a demonstration i will leave these wires as is i will now turn on power and check that i did not make any mistake in connecting the switches let's check this on off on the other side on off on and i can turn it off from here or turn on from here turn off from here so this is how we wire a three-way light switch subscribe to the channel to see more similar diy videos that's all for today i hope the video is informative it is helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if i have made any mistakes in the wiring please let me know in the comments I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.